Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another answer and I mentioned the New Game Plus 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 video, episode 190. And, um, yeah, I, I can get E900 Ghost Particles allowing me to get the new Trina boost. Except there is some things I want to get first. Like, for example, maybe I can try Nano Field. Um, it looks like I can get 96 rewards, probably 97, but that that's, a, that's about it. It doesn't look like there's much else I can do other than that. I feel like what I, what I can do, actually I, I can do this. I can gain eight orders of mag magnitude of tachyon particles before I ghostify. And that actually allows me to get a, like six orders of magnitude of, of ghost particles. And I'm gonna be getting trillions of ghostifies. I, th I don't think if I ghostify I lose, I lose like my ghostly photons and ghostly rays, but I do not lose all the light boosts. So, yeah, this is, this is going to be overpowered, so let's just do this. This is, let's see, neutrino boost based on your neutrinos. Three, two, one, bam. And it looks like that's the last one. They decrease the free tick speed upgrade threshold by minus 0 0.0023. So, oh, I see. So it's like this dilation, like, or, yeah, like the galaxies here. I'm going to be getting more of these galaxies. Actually... I got an achievement, weak decay, it's this one, get E1 trillion infinity on stable quarks, essentially just I have to get enough quark spins for each branch without big ripping. So yeah, the, that's what I'm, I've done here, and this should be pretty powerful. Like if I go into big rip, this will definitely, like I'm already up to almost E200 quark spins, start, when I get like nano field, stuff that's going to make it even better. I'm up to E190 cork spin. I also haven't even gotten these neutrino molts yet. So I can, yeah, it looks like I can get E1600 neutrinos already. So I feel like just, I'm honestly just going to press Q to quantum. Just get all these neutrinos because that's going to help things a lot. And this will allow me to easily reach E220 cork spin and 93 rewards. Also, I can probably... Um, I'm trying to get a lot of ghostly rays here. I'm like this isn't probably enough to push to one quintillion. So I'm, I probably should now go out of big rip. Just try to get as many quarks as possible, and maybe I can I can break my antimatter record. Antimatter record is e120 quadrillion. And actually, if I had if I end the nonstop writing of your full antimatter amount with three digits per second, you would start in 1.25 billion BC or before multicellular life. Also, E20,000 quarks, which is insane. Just everything here is insane, honestly. And yeah, this is just gonna make, like maybe if I grind neutrinos, I wonder I wonder how much it's gonna give me. Uh, actually, not that much. It's something, but it wasn't as much as I was hoping for. But it's definitely something. It will probably allow me to break my antimatter, yeah, and I'm smashing through my antimatter record, E125 quadrillion, 126, can I get 127, yes I can, I'm not sure if I can get E128 quadrillion, actually maybe I can, I think just these free galaxies, I'm not exactly sure how much it's doing, but it's, I feel like it's, could be like 10,000 galaxies worth, so it looks like I'm going to cap out right at about E128 quadrillion antimatter, and it's crazy. I just have a single upgrade remaining in all of new game. Or, I mean, I guess I have, like, there's all the repeatable stuff. But for non-repeatable special upgrades, there is one remaining. Which is crazy. I'm just, it's, I'm just, it's just hard to imagine. One upgrade until I finish the content part of New Game Plus, or not the content part, but, you know, finish progressing in New Game Plus Plus Plus. Now, I I do know there there is the works, um, the next update, like, the next content update, which is Higgs Bosons, is in the works. But, and also there's all these achievements. Like, there is still, I think, um, one, two, and then there's seven here, so that's still nine achievements, but... Still, like, there's, there's so much I can actually do. Like, I'm not going to do it now, but if you go to statistics, there's this pair of challenge completions. My ranking is 
out of 173.2, and I want to push that ranking as high as possible. Actually, I think one of the achievements is about pushing this ranking as high as possible. It's, yeah, get 165 pair challenge, pair challenges ranking. So, yeah, I'm just going to try going into Big Rip one last time, see if it does anything. Like, maybe I can get something out of it. Like, maybe, yeah, E250 Corkspin. So, yeah, that was definitely something. Maybe I can even get more Tachyon Particles. E413, so... I feel like this, this uh, is a genuinely fast... Like, this this feels genuinely fast. Which is super rare for New Game++++. Plus Plus Plus. It's usually just so slow. Also, I have E1 million Eternity Points in Big Rip. There's so many milestones I'm reaching. This is crazy. I should probably also go into Nano Field. 97 rewards. It looks like I'm honestly going to... I'm honestly pretty close to 104 rewards. Or I can actually... Um, yeah, there's the Anti-Prion Ghost. I guess that's another piece of content I haven't really um, done yet. But it doesn't look like I'm going to get much more than 98 rewards. I probably could push to 99, but that's about it. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to exit Big Rip, try to get more antimatter, and, you know, try to um, keep upgrading, like you know, like this like i feel like maybe i'll just get some levels of this upgrade here so i will never have to worry about that and then i'm just gonna keep trying to um, push the level of this upgrade as high as possible and i could even do this except it barely does anything i mean it, it the thing is the limiting factor is eternity bosonic runes instead of quantum bosonic runes so I, I guess i'll do it it doesn't really do much but it does something and, yeah, I'm just going to keep trying to push the Infinity Balsonic runes. And I should be able to maybe increase this level by an, by an order of magnitude, which will align up about triple the production and use of Antiprions. So, yeah, it doesn't look like there's much else I can do. Also, I'm up to E130 Quadrillion Antimatter, but there's not really much I can do. The thing is, like, while well, a lot of the other things are actually pretty fast... Bosonic Lab in itself is slow, unfortunately. But I feel like with the rate that Ghostly Photons is is happening, I feel like maybe in 24 hours I will I I will be able to get another Light Empowerment. So yeah, I'm I'm excited about that. Um, the next Bosonic upgrade, I need 150 quadrillion Bosonic Antimatter. That is gonna take forever. So, yeah, see, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back a day later, and I have E135 Quadrillion Antimatter. I should probably be able to get a lot of neutrinos here. Um, E1709, that's about 20 orders of magnitude of, of neutrinos. That's pretty good. It's not maybe as much as, as I might have been hoping for, but it's still a very solid amount of neutrinos. I am now up to um, 4 Quadrillion Bosonic Antimatter, and I feel like maybe now, well, first, I should probably get... All of these. I can get 2 billion levels. Buffing this 12.5 12 times. Or 12,500 12, times. I cannot speak today. To 47,000 times. So that, that is almost 4 times the speed as before. This will definitely allow me to decay like the like the W quarks and convert W plus to W minus. It's, it's almost... Uh, the speed is almost like 2 billion per second. That means in like a day, I could reach 200 trillion, but maybe it's better, just maybe, to try to instead go for oscillating some Z bosons. Yeah, I feel like that's better. It's actually a much more immediate effect, and this will make the W plus and W minus bosons even faster. So I'm, I'm probably just gonna do this for a while, like a day, and then try to read, and then then go back to the W plus and W minus bosons and do that. I'm also up to E140 quadrillion antimatter just from that, which is interesting. Like maybe if I check photons, I'm now actually pretty close to 20 ultraviolet light. Maybe going to big rip, there's some new stuff here. E78, I'm not, I almost said E78 quadrillion antimatter. I could not speak. It's E78 billion antimatter in big rip. And this allows me to 
get all the way up to E257 spins, maybe even some more Nano Feel rewards, 97, 98, I could probably reach 99, but not 104. So, and that, that's unfortunate, but it's not even that unfortunate. What am I even saying? Like, it's, it's just pretty overpowered. I can probably get some more... Oh, okay, that's barely anything. But I, I think what I'm just going to do is I will um, grind the D, the Z bosons. This should help. W plus and W minus bosons. And, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm, I'm back like a day or so later, and I, I have... I have 11 quadrillion bosonic antimatter, so I'm, I'm getting there in the bosonic antimatter. Um, and actually, the more important thing is this. I'm now up to 36 quintillion Z bosons. I'm not exactly sure how much I had before. It's only about like a three times faster decay speed, but whatever. It it helps. Every 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 bit every bit helps. I don't know what bosonic ruin ruin. I'm, I'm actually no. I'm not even extracting any of the. The runes because I had this enabled instead of that. So I'm, I guess I'm just going to keep extracting infinity bosonic runes while I um, start decaying the W quarks. So it looks like I get like about 6 billion per second. That means in a day I'll be able to reach something like 500 trillion. And then in, in two days, yeah, like they actually, the W plus um, goes up by like would be like 500 trillion a day, regardless of if I'm doing this or that, except the anti-prions um, are going to limit that. So it, I'm probably just going to do some off-camera stuff with the um, with this, because, you know, it's just boring and it's annoying. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back a couple days later, and I have um, enough ghostly rays to do another, another light empowerment, except this is going to be next episode. All I'm going to do here is um, grind some neutrinos to see how much I can get. It's actually it's pretty insignificant, so I don't really, I'm not going to get that. And I, I am up to E139 quadrillion antimatter. And if I go into Bolsonic Lab, I'm up to 50 quadrillion Bolsonic antimatter and 200 trillion W plus and W minus bosons. Plus, I can get um, all the way up to um, 3 billion levels of this. So I think what I'm just going to do is I'm, is I may um, just do um, go go back to the um, these two, just so I can um, start trying to oscillate the Z neutrino, and yeah, light empowerment next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.